This is the Museum of Contemporary Art, and I am surrounded by beautiful art that looks like Epcot Center sort of pulled apart and turned into a wall mural. I'm Fausto Fernos, I'm here with Mandy from Geico. Hi, there's no more beautiful art than I. Oh, really? It's true, no, it is true. Where, what mom. exactly about you is beautiful? Um, anything that my mom points out as being um, a bonus in my world. See, if I take the camera and go, it's the shoes! You just made me car sick. <laughs> Everything just got all wonky. So Mandy, what exactly are you doing here at the at the Taste for Every Palette? Well, Geico is running the uh, postal... I'm a postal lesbo, if you'd like to read my breasts. I'm a postal lesbo. We're running the post... I know, they get bigger. <laughs> it's disturbing how I can make them do that. He kept the camera still that whole time. Um, we are running the post office, and what happens is people can get numbers and put them on themselves, and it's very fourth grade. You can come back and leave a message and say, hey, I think you're really cute, or... Or, hey, I like your um, big gay haircut. Or, I sure hope you're a vegan, because I totally like to take you out for some tempeh. Why not just like go up to the person and talk to them and say, hey, look, I want to I want to just talk to you. I want to date you. Is, is the number sort of a protection? or? I think it's definitely a protection, because you don't want your friends seeing you go up to ugly people. And this way, you can be very sneaky and sort of underhanded. Also, if your partner is here. and you Oh, you can cheat out. on your man. Absolutely. Notice Mark has number 245. Ready. I like this one. It says, uh, my boyfriend and I think you are cute. Three is a lucky number in some cultures. Ooh, ay Dios mio. <laughs> Let's read some of the other ones. Now here it says, love, hey, my boyfriend, okay, we already read that one. I have a palette I'd love for you to taste. Love secret sin. That was an innuendo. You like ladies with short hair, nerdy chick glasses, liberal values, and Volkswagens? Then I'm your girl. Okay, Mandy, so are lesbians more likely to do this than gay men are? I think anybody who just appreciates another human being and drinks too much. Are you are you scoping out anybody? Because you're kind of single, single, right? I'm actually taken, but um, it never hurts to look around. But this is like a good way to sort of have an extramarital affair. You know that actually AOL and Cookie Magazine just did a study where a third of American moms cheat on their husbands and their families. Well, I don't have any children, so therefore I'm more like four fifths than a third. Ooh. Yeah. So has anybody? It, it, ne nevertheless, has anybody sort of tried to scope you out? Because your numbers. Two, 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 which sort of have a demonic quality to it. If I turned it upside down, it still wouldn't be six, 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 but it would be closer. Um, somebody did call me a hot chick when I um, gave them a number, so that may get me through the next six months. You know, I take what I can get.